and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my February favorites video, so if you want to hear my favorite products for February, then keep watching. So yes, I'm filming this in February and I'm wearing a tank top because it's 70 something degrees outside right now. So just like last month, I have some lifestyle favorites as well. I like including them, just, I don't know, to switch things up a little bit. My first favorite is this Botifying Bamboo Fiber Full Body Renew Dry Shampoo from OGX. I feature this in my CVS and Shop Hush Haul. I have really been loving this. I have very flat, straight hair when it's air dried, especially when I blow dry it. It's just always very flat. I don't have a lot of like volume or body to it. And this adds that volume. It's insane. The best way to get the volume from this is if you spray both sides of your hair. So if like you pick up straight and you spray it in the back and then you spray in the front as well. That just adds that volume. I've tried that same little method with other dry shampoos like the Not Your Mother's or um, Batiste. And that just didn't really work. This is giving it that volume that I like. And it also just gets rid of like the oils and whatever. So I've been really liking that. And it also just has like a nice little light scent as well. The next favorite is like a little makeup favorite. And this is the Elf Highlighter and Concealer. This is really an under eye concealer. But... I use it all over my face because why not? I have had this for a really long time. I got it almost a year, a year ago. I care about expiration dates. Um, I used it in my all one brand tutorial when I just did all e.l.f. I did that forever ago. I'll leave a, the link in the description box if you want to check it out. But I really like this. I put the concealer under my eyes. Obviously, I use it for um, eyeshadow primer. It works really nice for that. I actually used it today to do like a little like half cut crease effect. Um, I use it on my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin. It just conceals very nicely, especially the under eyes. And I also really like this highlight um, thingy. It's a liquid highlight. So if you don't like liquid, liquid highlights, you won't like this. But it's just a white highlight. It looks like this. But when you blend it out, it just gives like a nice glow. I really do like it for the under eye area. I also will just highlight my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead as well when I use it. Just so I can have that extra little glow underneath my um, foundation. Because I really do like that. But... But this is a really good concealer. I just really like it. Next favorites are just my favorite um, mascara combo for the month. And I've been using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara for my top lash line. And then the Maybelline, the Falsies, the Push Up Drama on my lower lash line. I've been loving these two. I'm actually considering buying the full size of this one because I really, really do like it. It adds so much volume to my lashes. It's insane. This is what the brush looks like. It's just a really big one a brush. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really, really nice. And I just love that it volumizes my lashes. And then this wand, it's very spiky. So I like it because it really separates the bottom lashes. And then if I have any clumping, a lot of times I'll just go over my top lashes as well with this. But yeah, I just really like this little duo. Another favorite of mine has been this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I've been liking this to just spray to give my skin that extra little like moisture if it's really dry. I've also been using this to set my makeup and I really like it for that. My makeup's been holding up really nicely throughout the day and I really want to try the other sprays because I like, uh, don't get me wrong, I like this spray. It does a really nice job but the rose water, I just... I'm not the biggest fan of rose scents, so I really want to try the cucumber one because I feel like I like that one better. Two other makeup favorites of mine this month have been the Aphrodite and Athena palettes from Bad Habit. I bought these off of shophush.com. They are both dupes for Huda palettes. This is what the Aphrodite palette looks like. I use this today on my eyes. I use Admire, Flirt, and Blushing in the crease, and then I used um, Crush on the lid. They're really, really nice shadows. I like them. The one bad thing about these palettes is there's a lot of inconsistencies because my friend Evie Saves the Day here on YouTube has the Aphrodite palette, and she has very mixed reviews on it. She doesn't love it at all, um, and 
I don't know why like hers just won't blend for her and I got mine like right after she got hers and mine works fine with for me so that's just like one thing to look out for um this is the Athena palette I absolutely love this I'm going to have a tutorial up on this soon I filmed it um a couple days ago so keep an eye out for that next up is a Tarte product and I know Tarte has been getting like a lot of hate lately but I got this forever ago when they were having like their birthday sale and this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. I really like this. This is just a sample but I actually got another one and it's a little bit bigger and it's just so nice. It hydrates my skin. My fe skin feels so good after I use it. It's I just like that it's a gel. I really like gel cleansers. I don't know what it is about them but it's just really nice. And it smells, it smells kind of weird, but like it smells good at the same time. It just gives me like a summer, it reminds me of summer, the smell. I don't know why, but I just really like this cleanser. It's really good. And if you're looking for a good like hydrating cleanser, I would try this one out. Now on to lifestyle favorites. First is a book, and this is Strong Looks Better Naked by Khloe Kardashian. I know that the Kardashians are, you know, some people love them, some people hate them. I love them. I just I don't know why I love them I just do I got this book a while ago and I read it when I first got it and I liked it but now that I've started like working out and I'm trying to like lose a little weight and all that stuff I read it again and it just really put things into perspective a couple things I learned from this book were one she doesn't weigh herself and that was just one thing that I was trying to stay I'm trying to stay away from thankfully the scales in my house are broken <laughs> Um, so she just says she doesn't weigh herself because the numbers will drive you crazy and that's so true. I 110% agree with her. She also just says to like do things in moderation and nothing's going to happen overnight. She was talking, she told like a lot of personal stories about how some of her friends are looking for like that quick fix and she's just like, that's not going to happen. You need to work out and it's not going to happen in like two weeks. You're not going to lose 30 pounds. And if you do, it's because you're doing like one of those unhealthy diets. She kind of teaches you just like the healthy way of how to like lose weight and all that stuff. So if you kind of need like that extra push, I would suggest reading this book. Another lifestyle favorite this month has been this yoga mat. I started to get back into yoga again. When I was in high school, we got to like pick what activities we wanted to do for gym. Like we were able to choose three. And I always chose yoga because I just loved it. I loved doing yoga. It was just so relaxing and I always felt so good after it. So I got a yoga mat from Walmart. I've been doing yoga six days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I just found like a Pinterest workout that I do. And then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I actually go on YouTube and I watch yoga with Adrian. I'll leave her channel down below if you're interested. Um, I just watched one of her videos. I've been doing a lot of her like beginner workouts just because I'm still getting back into the swing of things with yoga. So her videos have been really great and she is a really good teacher. I really just like her videos. And my last favorite, which is kind of random, is this water bottle. This is a infuser water bottle from Contigo. I will leave a link down below on Amazon where you can get this. I got it from Walmart. They are a little pricey, but I've been using this non-stop every single day. Like it's not even funny. Basically, you just put some fruit down here. I just have lemons and limes. Sometimes I'll put lemon, lime, and mint. I'll put um lemon and orange in there and it's so good. I have probably like four to five of these a day. I just really like them and it just makes drinking water more enjoyable because you're not getting like that boring water taste, which is fine. I like water, so it's no big deal, but that water bottle, if you have a hard time drinking water and want to add like some flavor, I suggest that one. Those were my favorites for the month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social media that's always linked down below in the description box as well. If you guys have any video suggestions on any videos you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you just want to leave a comment saying, hey, please do it too. And that is all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!